I want to quickly point this out before we go into it because I want to just tease what I'm going to talk about later, right? So this is obviously taken from the flipping Fire and the Kid subreddit as per usual. It's an excellent fucking screen grab. I'm sure most of you have seen this, right? And this screen grab obviously features um, the latest episode of Fire of the Food Truck Diaries, which is Brendan Schaub's show. And as his guest, he's got Lauren Janko, the flipping, um, you know, fantastic colour commentator and just, you know, all-around host when it comes to UFC type stuff. And they sit down and doing an interview. The funny thing about it, just looking at it optics-wise, right, is how much food Brendan seems to have on his side vis-a-vis how much food Laura Janko has on her side. And the difference is absolutely startling, right? It really is startling, right? And the funny thing about this, as I was thinking, just looking at it as general, is that I've been a fat fuck myself, right? My weight has fluctuated up and down over the years. I've went to my highest, I think I was like... 270 pounds and I'm like what six foot exactly which is crazy to be 270 pounds and six foot is just nuts plus I like to wear really cool clothes and I'm into fashion and shit so it didn't really suit me too well because I you know I couldn't wear the stuff that I spend a lot of money on and I really give a shit about so that was really painful and then the, the smallest I've ever been is like 180 so you don't get to 270 pounds being what I am by just eating fucking, you know, by just eating salads. You obviously are going to be a bit of a fat shit and you're going to eat burgers at 12. You're going to fucking order out every week or twice a week. You're going to drink all the time. You're going to be just gorging, right? But when I was a fat fuck, I knew I was a fat fuck. When I was a fat fuck, I knew I was a fat fuck. There was no skirting around it. I wasn't on no diet. I wasn't trying to work out. I, at that time, was a fat fuck. So the thing that really makes me laugh about Brendan is that he's like a fat fuck in denial because he keeps saying he's on a diet. He keeps saying he's doing carnivore. He keeps saying he's working out. He keeps saying all these things, but all the evidence that you ever see of him eating points towards somebody who clearly doesn't really, because not this isn't an issue. We all are fat fucks. I, I would destroy that plate if I was given it. True, no problem. But... He keeps saying he's working out. He keeps saying he's on a plan. He keeps saying he's running. He keeps saying in the gym. He keeps saying all the stuff. But then all the stuff that he eats is of somebody that doesn't do that. Because if you work out enough, and I know I have, because like I said, at my fattest, I was 270. At my smallest, I got down to 180. I went down to 180 pounds, which was fucking, it felt amazing. I was able to wear the most incredible things. My cheeks were all sucked in. I had chiseled jaw. I, I felt, I loved it that time. Even though I feel like my optimal kind of walking weight would probably be like 200, 210. But I was, I was able to get down to 180, right? When you're working out and you're losing a lot of weight, I'm not sure what you guys in the chat will know. When you start seeing the differences, usually stuff like this is kind of hard to get down your throat. You're not going to find it easier to gorge out because you don't want to um, roll back all the hard work you did in the gym. You don't want to, you know, if you if you went to the gym for like an hour and you sweated your ass off and it hurt and whatever and you feel tired and you're sweating, your back's hurting and you have to get on a bus or get on a bike or drive a car home, you don't want to waste all of that hard work you did by eating loaded chips and stuff. You're not going to do it. So when he does stuff like this, I know... This is evidence of somebody that doesn't work out as much as they say they do. Because if you work out as much as you say he does, there's no way you're then going to gorge out every time you film fucking food truck diaries. You're not going to do that. You might order yourself a plate of chips just to kind of keep the show going as a kind of decorative thing on the table so it doesn't look like you're just not eating anything. It's just your guest is. Or you might share a burger, whatever you might do. But you're not going to order a fucking meal. Like this guy has clearly got chips here, another burger here where he's cut in half and clearly another burger here for himself, like two burgers and some loaded fries. And that looks like a healthy, like dad portion. Do you know what I mean? That's a deep basket. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's like something that could feed two people, maybe four, maybe a whole family, especially a Mexican family. Mexican family probably could get a load of this in it. That's a, that's a really hacky Mexican drink, but you kind of get what I mean. But so yeah, that's just what I was thinking in general. And then look at, look at Laura Janko's side. <laughs> that's what, that, that's what, that's what you'd probably eat if you were actually on a diet. You'd do that. You'd be like, okay, cool. I'm going to indulge a bit. So I'm going to get a burger. I'm going to eat maybe half of it. I'm going to have a couple of chips for the taste and that's it. And you're going to eat it really slowly. That's what usually the trick is when you're going to try and lose weight right and that's how you end up having a face like that there may be some work involved in it but that kind of chiseled face that shiny effervescent face nice just looking tone you know it just looks like you know she got the whole world ahead of her and then you go over here and you see somebody that clearly looks like they've been either injected with fucking ribena into their face right or something or clearly have been swimming in fucking vats of fucking whiskey every single day and eating as much as they want that's what it looks like and again it's not an issue because again i've been a fat fuck but it's quite clear that the plates are representative of the man the man is the plate right the plate is the man and the woman is the plate and the woman 
is the plate, right? The plate is a woman, right? You get what I mean? You get what I mean? But yeah, I, I, just, I just thought that was interesting just to kind of analyse from the, from the side of it. I really did think it was, man, but um, I just think that lie is just... What, what do you guys think about that lie, though? What do you guys think about that? Because I, I, I really don't understand it still, the whole, like... I'm always on a diet. It's a very, not again, not to be offensive or anything, but it's a very womanly thing. Cause you hear women do, women do it all the time, especially like um, fad diets. Like I remember my mum doing um, a diet where she was just, do you remember, do you guys remember? Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a time when Beyonce was filming some movie. I forgot which one it was. I think it was one where she was like in a band or something. Beyonce filmed some movie where she was in a band. It was like a musical type thing. And, um, I guess she looked really skinny that time, right? Because she had to film this movie that was set in the 50s or something. So she had to get really kind of skinny. Like the, like what do you call it? Oh, what they called? Like the, like the Scissor Sisters. She had to look at one of those kind of groups, right? The Scissor Sisters from back in the day. Do you guys remember them? The Scissor, Scissor, C, how do you spell Scissor? Jesus Christ, I can't spell Scissor. C, <laughs> Sisters. Okay, there you go, I spell it. Yeah, so the, do you guys remember the Scissor Sisters? Is that them? Am I talking about? Am I thinking about the same people? No, I'm thinking about the disco. What are they called? The Sisters? What are they called? Oh my god, I got it wrong, haven't I? It doesn't matter. Anyway, there was a Beyonce movie where Beyonce was in a band and she had to get really skinny, and she went on some diet that I remember all the mums were talking about at the time. I think the diet was like um something to do with like potatoes or something. My mum was doing, and I, and I'm, again, that was not something that was uncommon because my mum was doing it, my aunt was doing it, another family friend was doing it. So I know women have this thing about fad diets, like finding out what the fad thing is and just kind of jumping on it. Even though nowadays guys do it too with like keto, Atkins, paleo, carnival, but it's definitely a woman thing in terms of like always jumping on fad diets. But I, I don't find it, I find it quite interesting because B- Brendan's like a former professional athlete. Like he got paid to play sports. Like he played sports at a height. Again, he maybe wasn't as good as you guys think he was i get it but he still was paid to be an athlete at one point so you would imagine all those years of like you know busting your ass in the gym and stuff and working out it would leave some residue in terms of you um still having a bit of discipline still knowing how to do some certain things i know some athletes even in football usually when they retire they just kind of let go because you know you don't want to be training every day like you were before you just want to enjoy your life and in you know indulge and do whatever and you know and get bigger and balloon up and stuff fair enough but it's this really strange thing that he does where he's always talking about diets, kind of in, you know, what's it, he's in denial about what he looks like at the moment, in denial about what he also eats all the time. But then, you know, but then again, he's, and the, and the diet thing also, the funny, the funny thing about it, to end it, I'm starting a lot here, is that it's always unprompted. No one is really checking on his diet. No one asks, oh, hey, long have you been doing it? How's it going? Are you seeing good effects from it? Or good results. No one asked him this. It's just him always kind of offering up the information and being first to say, "Oh, I can't eat that. I'm on carnivore. I'm not. I'm not doing this." It's like no one cares, really, to be honest. In it, you can eat what you want, get fat, get small. What doesn't really matter. It's just the fact that you keep talking about it, but you're clearly not doing it. And I was just like, I don't get it. I really don't understand it. It's something that I just can't wrap my head around. But again, none of my business.